Ethel Caffey Austin's title of West Virginia's First Lady of Gospel Music is well-deserved. A powerful singer, pianist, choir leader, and educator, she shared her ministry and her love and knowledge of spiritual music for half a century. Along the way, she's taken her music and her message into prisons, schools, and government housing projects, performed at festivals, and led residencies on both sides of the Atlantic. At home in West Virginia, she's been a tireless ambassador, performing, teaching, and leading festivals and workshops that have kept the old traditions of black gospel music alive. Well, Mary, Mary, don't you weep. Tell Martha not to moan. Born in Bluefield in 1949, Kathy Austin was raised near Mount Hope, Fayette County. She learned about her African-American heritage from her adopted parents, David and Lucy Caffey. David, a preacher and longtime Union coal miner, told his daughter about his father's life as a slave in Alabama and taught her songs he learned growing up. This knowledge and music would become the driving force in Caffey Austin's life. Caffey Austin started to find her voice while attending Montgomery High School, where she quickly became the accompanist for the school's glee club. She was also involved with the Thespian Club and had leading roles in several plays. At her parents' urging, she stayed close to home and enrolled as an English major at the former West Virginia Institute of Technology in Montgomery. At Tech, Kathy Austin performed original compositions with the school's choral groups while earning a bachelor's degree in language arts. At the same time, she put together gospel groups in four of the state's colleges and universities and organized tours throughout the eastern and southern U.S. After moving to Charleston in the mid-70s, Kathy Austin founded the Charleston Area Community Choir. Her ministry and music impacted the lives of everyone who participated. In 1978, she started the Ethel Kathy Austin Singers, which traveled the country spreading the cultural and spiritual message of black sacred music. One of her proudest moments was performing with her choir at Constitution Hall in Washington, D.C., the same venue which, in 1939, refused to allow gospel legend Marian Anderson to perform. The Ethel Caffey Austin Singers toured extensively in Europe and was the first group to perform black sacred music in Poland, Estonia, and at the Breckham Cathedral in Wales. Two of the group's CDs were recorded live in Europe. Welcome, Holy Spirit, and live in Europe. Well, I'm going to move in the room with the Lord. The with the Lord. Kathy Austin has also been in demand as a clinician and has presented numerous gospel workshops which incorporate historical narratives, slave songs, and cultural characters. While her career has taken her worlds away from West Virginia, Kathy Austin has always reserved her most passionate work for her home state. In 1990, she founded the Black Sacred Music Festival at West Virginia State University and used her connections to bring in nationally known speakers and performers, including the late Charles Fold, the late Reverend Donald Vales, Dr. Ollie Watts Davis, and Richard Smallwood. Another project, the Ethel Caffey Austin Experience, brought together singers from various churches in the community to form a gospel choir. The day-long workshops concluded with a public performance. She also served as coordinator for the City of Charleston's Community Arts Program, where she developed music, drama, dance, and visual arts opportunities for youth and young adults. In 1997, Kanawha County Schools requested that she return to work with students enrolled in Capital Academy, an alternative high school for at-risk students who have one last chance to receive an education in the public school system. 
Dating back to the 70s, she's hosted workshops and performed at the state Vandalia gathering more than 25 times. Kathy Austin has released several recordings and instructional videotapes, and in 1999 was the subject of a documentary produced by Apple Shop titled His Eye is on the Sparrow. In 2010, she contributed a song to the Harry Smith Connection, a live tribute to the anthology of American folk music. Because of her passion and commitment, Kathy Austin has been the recipient of many awards and honors. She was named West Virginia's Queen of Black Sacred Music in 1995, and in 1998 crowned West Virginia's Queen of Gospel Music. In 2006, she received the Vandalia Award, the state's highest folklife honor. In 2015, Kathy Austin was recipient of the Church of God in Christ's National 150 Influential Women Award. This award exemplifies her dedication and her high standards. Most importantly, she teaches by example, and in doing so, has touched the lives of many West Virginians. I 